Yeah, you gotta explain the tennis racket thing. Though. Me and my brothers were just like, you know, whenever the guitar solo came, it was my my turn to shine on the on the racket, <laughs> and uh, I wailed on it. It was like you know, twelve string guitar, eighteen string guitar. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, I'm Dan Reynolds. I'm Wayne Sermon. And we make up part of Imagine Dragons, and we are here with BuzzNet on an amoeba adventure. I picked uh, Billy Joel's The Stranger. It's just one of his best records. You know, it's got, it's got so many good hits on it. It's got Only the Good Die Young, which was one of my very first songs that I learned on piano. Only the good die young. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he's the only person that can pull off like horns and everything better than anybody else. For one of mine, I chose Pearl Jam 10, which came out in like, like around Jerry, I don't know, 93 or something. I think I originally bought it on cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> Vinyl looks cooler than a little cassette tape, so yeah, amazing, uh, you know, my first. What's your favorite song off it? Um, probably Alive. That's the first guitar solo I ever learned, I think. I butchered it, of course, but. For my second pick, Harry Nelson's The Point. Uh, this is a soundtrack to a movie that he made uh, called The Point uh, about this incredible, it's like this incredible story about a, a young boy who's born in a town of all these people who have points on their head and everything has a point, but he has a round head so they kick him out of town. And uh, this is an amazing adventure, one of my favorite movies growing up. And Harry Nelson is one of the greatest songwriters, I think, of all time. He's got a voice that is just so silky and so much control. And uh, was really good friends with the Beatles and never really got, you know, I feel like he never got as much credit as he deserved. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. Like it, it's it's really, I'm points. trying to think, I can't remember who the, the guy who drew the pictures in it, it's or did the animation, yeah, it's a cartoon. And, but he's incredible, he's so good. Like, the entire movie's amazing, and the soundtrack is just right on point. No pun intended. Ha! Zing! Ha! <laughs> well, speaking of the Beatles, uh, of course, Abbey Road. Like, I, I never remember a time when I didn't know this record. Like, my dad would play this, you know, since I was born. Um, I knew it backwards and forwards by the time I was three or four, so. You listen to it in reverse? I haven't listened to it in reverse, actually. Why, is there some message? You never know until you listen. Yeah, that's true, I'll try. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's my favorite Beatles album. It's like toward the end of their career and you can kind of hear things kind of ending for them. And there's a certain sadness to it, but all the songs are so great and it's just undeniable. Lastly, I picked uh, Nirvana's Nevermind. Just one of the greatest albums track for track, you can listen to every single track and it's incredible. Kurt Cobain was one of the geniuses of music. How organic this album is, how the way they recorded it, and uh, just the art, the artistic genius behind it all. I really wish Kurt Cobain was still alive. If I could pick one artist to be alive today and to sit in a room and talk with him and understand his artistic vision a little bit better, it would be Kurt Cobain. Well, my final choice is a Boston record, which also is close to my heart because, you know, this like this exact case, this exact everything is what I looked at. That artwork was, is unreal. When I was like, <laughs> you know, very young. And look, this is my favorite part. No synthesizers used. <laughs> no computers. <laughs> wow, wow, that's amazing. But yeah, I think if you haven't if you haven't heard of Tom Schull's guitar solo on vinyl, then you haven't heard it right. So uh, we are Imagine Dragons. That was our Amoeba adventure with BuzzNet, and uh, we're very excited that our album is coming out September 4th. It will be our debut album night visions and it will be available everywhere.